Hey guys, Drew here from Lone Wolf Travel. We're here at Lake Tinaru today. Uh, gonna do a bit of fishing, a bit of adventuring, see what we can find. Never been here before, but I've been up in the Tablelands for a little while and I've heard it's a good dam, so we'll see what we can do. I'll show you my setup and we'll see if we can catch a couple fish. So today we're running with a Daira Reel, uh, 2500 size, an ugly stick, Shakespeare four piece travel rod. Got a little jerk shad on there, and we're going to be fishing around these sticks. Could be some barramundi, maybe some black brim. We'll see what happens. I'll get back to you shortly. So, I'm not really familiar with this dam. Like I said, I've got a um, sort of weedless soft plastic on. Just trying to drop around the sticks at the moment. No luck so far. Got a bit of bait as well, so we'll, um, we'll keep trekking around. It's a big lake, and I think today's a lot about just exploring, trying to find out, you know, what the go is here. And we'll come back again. If we don't have any luck this time, we'll try something different. So we're just gonna head back up to the car. And then we'll cruise around some more, see what we can find. It's a um, beautiful region, the Atherton Tablelands, up here in tropical Queensland. And I'd never really experienced it. I've been to Cairns and Townsville, but it's a totally different climate. It's a totally different climate up this way. It's a lot cooler, a lot wetter, and a lot greener. They grow a lot of fruit up here, fruit and veggies. And here's our beast for the day. Little RAV4 does the trick. All right, let's kick on, find the next spot. So this is the platypus camping area. I think there's about four or five different camping areas on the dam. And we're gonna check them out today. So it looks like we're surrounded by pine forests. And I did see, I think this is an active logging area. So they do still harvest the pines here. It must be state forest. But here we are at Platypus Rock. So let's see if we can find out what this is all about. Let's go for a walk. See, there's a big rock here. Here we go, Platypus Rock. Looks like it's a bit of a lookout. Maybe it's shaped like a platypus. Maybe you can see platypus from here. I suppose we'll find out. It's a nice cool day today, it's a bit overcast, probably low 20s, I'd say later on the sun's going to come out, I think they're forecasting about 30 degrees. Yeah, it's nice you can hear the birds, and even though it's a weekend, today's a Sunday, seems to be no one here. explanation as to why it's platypus rock. <laughs> to be honest, a bit of a disappointing view. But um, there's our car. Hey, you can't win them all. It's really weird. They've obviously invested a bit of money into all these railings and stuff, but it's just a rock in the middle of the forest. Let's go see what else we can find. So this is the platypus camping area. Relatively busy. The 
said it is a weekend. Get the lake there. Not a bad little spot. If you had a boat, you could do a little boat ramp there. Water ski. But again, it was, it was fairly busy being a Sunday. So. Alright, onwards and upwards. This is Cowrie Creek camping area. I actually skipped over the last one. Um, it was really crowded. I mean, it was pretty basic. It wasn't a bad campsite, but it was very crowded. There wasn't much notable to it. So I did just omit a video. But this one looks a bit more spread out and quiet. So we'll have a quick poke around. Yeah, some nice little spots. They've got um, fire pits. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely will be coming here over the last place. But the last place did have a boat ramp, and maybe this one doesn't. Which would be a reason why it's not quite as popular, because yeah, this one's definitely a bit more empty. Everyone's just getting up for their brekkie, it's uh, 7.45 in the morning. Kids are all up. Got a couple camper vans here. So I know the footage isn't fantastic, but you can kind of see. Yeah, it looks like there's no boat ramp here. But still, if you had kayaks or, um, you know, just go for a swim, this looks like it'd be a great little spot. down there. Yeah, this one definitely looks a bit nicer. To me, anyway. Got another little arm. Arm of the creek on that side. Plenty of spots available on the weekend. It's kind of rainforesty and lush through here as well. Yeah, of the three, I guess this would be my favorite, but again, if, you, uh, if you're towing a boat, you want to put your boat in, a bit limited here. It looks like someone had their boat, they probably put it in at one of the other ramps and drove around and met, you know, met up with camp here and just pulled up on the shore. So you can always do that. Yeah, this is uh Kipara, Kiara? Cowrie. Cowrie Creek, that's where we are now. Alright, next. So I'm just at Cowrie Creek. There's actually a day use area here. Which um I just crossed over the creek and it's beautiful and clear, so I thought I might pull in. We'll have a coffee here. Um, and yeah, I thought we might try and check out the river. So, good setup. We got some picnic tables, wood fire barbecue. I wish I'd brought some sausages. Some more tables. Yeah, and I just wanted to show you how clear this water is. I could see it as I drove over the bridge. I mean, it's not, not very deep. But it's just pristine. There we go. So we've got Cowrie Creek. And you know, it's probably hard to tell on the video, but it almost looks like there's no water at all. It's just perfectly clear. Nice little rainforest creek. Might even yeah, I will even head upstream a bit. I got my um, oh, product placement Under Armour Aqua Shoes. I used to wear Crocs all the time, which are good as well. But these, yeah, that water's pretty fresh. These stay on your feet better. They give you better grip. They don't slide around. Yeah, they're fantastic for just doing what I'm doing. Trudging through rivers, rock fishing, all that good stuff. But I mean, look. How perfect, 
How perfect is this? Not a soul here. Water is just like fucking glass. Um, but something with this channel I'm going to have to work on is <laughs> no swear words. So you may hear a lot of beeping for my first couple of videos, but uh, yeah, this is just stunning. Pristine Rainforest Creek, all to myself. I'll head back up and make a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, and then head off. I don't know how the fishing's going to go today. It's more of a scouting and exploration mission, but I'll definitely, definitely give you the tour of the area. So you know if you're ever up this way, what, what, what's in store and what you need to bring. Yeah, what a spot. So again guys, this is Lake Tinaru up in the Atherton Tablelands. You got Drew from Lone Wolf Travel. Um, camera's not ideal today. I actually I lost my GoPro a little while ago after an epic fishing adventure in Early Beach. Uh, came home, had coral trout, squid, trevally, awesome video. Taking the boat out on the ramp. Thought, I'll take the GoPro out of the boat so it doesn't hop out on the highway and uh, put it down for a second, did something else, forgot about it. Drove the hour home, got home and unpacked, realized, drove an hour back, GoPro gone. So, I'm on a phone right now, which isn't ideal, but hey, look, you know, we're out there, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, I've just stopped in for a quick coffee and I'll just show you my setup that I usually carry with me. Um, when I do these sort of things, whether I'm out in the boat or I'm camping or even just day tripping like today and you've got everything you need. So I'll um, just give you a quick run through. So basic billy can, little portable gas cooker, um, you know, super easy, cheap to run. Today I'm just running up some coffee, but this is my kit. You know, it's kind of got everything we need. Got a big mixing bowl, got pots, pans, um, dish towels, cutlery, bowls, plates, uh, there's a water, water jug here, we've got a rid, just watching liquid, and then I've just got a little esky bag that I usually bring, a chopping board, but, you know, with this I can cook anything from basic can of soup to spaghetti bolognese, um, you know, pad thai if I need to, it's really, this camp kitchen's got everything I need, this little single burner stove, I mean, I only just turned this on before I started the video, and already my water's about to boil. So it's pretty, I mean, it's not a jet boil, but it's pretty quick and efficient. Um, yeah, so we're going to stop in and have a nice coffee here. Beautiful spot, as you saw, that, that creek that we just ran through was amazing. Surrounded by big, tall pine trees. And again, uh, you know, all to myself. There's not a soul here, which is pretty special. You know, it's one special thing about Australia. Uh, it's not that crowded. And there goes my kettle. I'm going to have my coffee and we'll hit you up in the next campsite. School Point Campground. It's a bit further away, so I'm not sure if we're going to expect to find it busy or not. Got a pre book with the Queensland government. I think it's usually about $6. $6 a night, which isn't yeah, too bad. Beautiful big pine forest. That's, that's something really nice about this lake. Because it's got all the tree coverage, it's, it's cool in summer. I've been to a couple dams, especially, where there's just nothing to shade you. In the middle of the day, it can be brutal. Yeah, this is pretty nice. 
haven't done a great deal of fishing, but as I said today, it's kind of about exploration. So we're going to scout it all out today, maybe come back and do a bit of camping. Uh, I've got a friend with a boat, we might, might see if we can tee that up and go hunt some barramundi. So I've been driving probably 15 minutes now since the last campsite uh, and it hasn't really followed the lake so there's been no water access. I'm actually not sure how far down this road the campsite's going to be but eventually somewhere down here yep, and I can see some water tanks. Yeah, there was a walk back there at um, that last little river that was closed, unfortunately. But I'll have to come back another time. That looked like it would have been pretty cool. That was the clear, clear water. All right, so here we go. School Point Campground. We've got campsites one through nine, ten through eleven. Let's start off here. Go this way. That looks like a nice quiet sort of campground. Sites are fairly well spaced apart. So I guess this is a little bit more controlled. The last the last couple were just sort of open plains, you pay your fees, whereas I think this one you have to have assigned spots it looks like. And it looks like it's about 20, 20 in total. Here we go, got some traffic. Goodbye. So we're heading down towards the water now. Oh wow, what's this? <laughs> so someone's got like an inflatable soccer soccer net out on the lake or something. That looks really cool. Cans water polo, there you go. They've got their water polo set up. Yeah, this is nice. It's, it's a quieter side of the island. Sorry, of the, of the lake. People have their campfires going for the morning. Yeah, again, nice and shady. It's not, you know, it's not hot over here yet. I know it's only nine o'clock in the morning, uh, but you can tell there'd be shade pretty much all day long. School point. The toilets. Probably can't see them as I'm driving. Yep. Yeah. Nice little catch sign. Alright. Off to the next one. Right, so welcome to Fong On Bay. Now that was a long, dusty road to get here. Let's check out the Mulumba section. It looks like we're on the other side of the dam now. So from where we started filming, um, you can see directly across here in a second, there's another campsite. That must be one of the first ones we went to. So we have traveled around the dam now. And so, yeah, this is a much more just sort of open, open planned. Unlike the last one, I don't think you have to find campsite numbers, you just pay your fees. A lot more families and groups here. 
It's a bit busier, but it's a big area. Toilet block. Yeah, some nice shady spots on this side of the, this side of the park. It looks it must be like a bit of a peninsula. We'll see if we can get out to the point. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more traffic coming out here. It's a bit of a much bigger camp area. I guess it would appeal to families, groups, because you've got a bit more space to spread out. Less defined. But I'll definitely be washing the car because that was a dusty, dusty road. Yeah, people have their boats pulled up. Yeah, again, I guess the big appeal of this this side, this side, is you can really spread out. There's plenty of room to find your own little shady, shady campsite, not near anyone else. Probably would be noisier in the evening, I would suspect, just with how big it is and how many groups there are. Uh, but yeah, again, you can sort of spread out a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's huge, it just keeps going. So they got a water tank over there. Gungle, so there's a whole other section. Yeah, this is, this is massive. I'd say it's school holidays, this would be packed because it just keeps going. Now these guys have their own shady spot. No one inside of them. Toilet block. And yeah, I guess now we're coming to the peninsula. I might park up in a shady spot and jump out. Bit of a look. Let's go see. 